welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about modulus of complex number and collinear points. First of all, let us discuss modulus of complex number. Now, the modulus or absolute value of a complex number Z such that Z is equal to A plus B iota where A and B belong to the set of real numbers is given by modulus of Z is equal to modulus of a plus b iota which is equal to square root of a square plus b square. Now we know that in the complex number z which is equal to a plus b iota a is called the real part of the complex number z and b is called the imaginary part of the complex number z. So modulus of z is equal to square root of the square of the real part of z plus the square of the imaginary part of z. Thus, modulus of z is greater than or equal to 0 for all z belongs to the set of complex numbers. And the modulus of A plus B iota is just the distance from the origin to the point A plus B iota. Now let us discuss the modulus of a complex number z which is equal to a plus b iota diagrammatically. Now here the point a whose coordinates are a, b is representing the number that is the complex number z which is equal to a plus b iota. Now the distance o a that is the distance of the point a whose coordinates are a, b from the origin is equal to the modulus of z which is equal to square root of a square plus b square. Now let us discuss one example. Now here let the complex number z is equal to 4 plus 5 iota. So modulus of z will be equal to square root of a square plus b square. Now here a which is the real part of z is equal to 4 and b which is the imaginary part of z is equal to 5. So modulus of z is equal to square root of a square that is 4 square plus b square that is 5 square. So this is equal to square root of 16 plus 25 which is equal to root 41. Now let us find the modulus of cos theta plus iota sine theta. So this is equal to square root of a square. Now a here is cos theta. So it will be cos square theta plus b is sine theta. So b square will be sine square theta. Now this is equal to, now we know that cos square theta plus sine square theta is 1. So this is equal to root 1 which is equal to 1. Now let us discuss one theorem. Now according to this theorem, if Z1 and Z2 are complex numbers of two points A and B on the argon plane, 
then the distance between them is given by AB which is equal to modulus of Z1 minus Z2. Now let us prove this theorem. Now let the complex number Z1 is equal to P plus Q iota and the complex number Z2 is equal to X plus Y iota. Now the complex number Z1 which is equal to P plus Q iota is represented by the point A whose coordinates are PQ and the complex number Z2 which is equal to X plus Y iota is represented by the point B whose coordinates are X, Y. Now by distance formula distance AB is equal to square root of P minus X whole square plus Q minus Y whole square. Also Z1 minus Z2 is equal to P plus Q iota the whole minus X plus Y iota the whole which is equal to P minus X the whole plus Q minus Y the whole into iota. Now modulus of Z1 minus Z2 is equal to square root of a square plus B square. Now A here is P minus X and B here is Q minus Y. So modulus of Z1 minus Z2 will be equal to A square which is P minus X whole square plus B square which is Q minus Y whole square. Now from this equation Square root of P minus X whole square plus Q minus Y whole square is equal to the distance AB. Therefore, the distance AB is equal to modulus of Z1 minus Z2. Now let us discuss collinear points. Now three points are said to be collinear. If they lie on the same straight line. Now here P, Q and R are collinear points as these points lie on the same straight line. So here we can say that the points P, Q and R are collinear points if PQ plus QR is equal to PR. That is, if this distance PQ plus the distance QR is equal to the distance PR, then the points P, Q and R are called collinear points. Now let us discuss one example and in this we have to prove that the representative points of the complex numbers 2 plus 8 iota, 4 plus 14 iota and 6 plus 20 iota are collinear.
Now let us start with its solution. Now let the complex number 2 plus 8 iota is represented by the point P whose coordinates are 2, 8 and the complex number 4 plus 14 iota is represented by the point Q whose coordinates are 4 and 14 and the complex number 6 plus 20 iota is represented by the point R whose coordinates are 6 and 20. Now we have to prove that the points P, Q and R are collinear points. For this, we will satisfy this condition of collinearity and if this condition is satisfied, then the three points are collinear. Otherwise, they are non-collinear. So let us find out the distance PQ. Now the distance PQ is equal to square root of, that is by the distance formula we can find out the distance PQ which is equal to square root of the square of the difference of the abscissa, that is 4 minus 2 whole square plus the square of the difference of the ordinates which is 14 minus 8 whole square which is equal to square root of 4 minus 2 whole square will be 2 square and that is 4 plus 14 minus 8 whole square is 6 square that is 36 and this is equal to root 40 which can be written as 2 root 10. Now these are the coordinates of Q and R. Now the distance QR by distance formula is equal to square root of 6 minus 4 whole square plus 20 minus 14 whole square which is equal to square root of 2 square which is 4 plus 6 square which is 36. This is equal to root 40 which is equal to 2 root 10. Now these are the coordinates of P and R. Now the distance PR is equal to square root of 6 minus 2 whole square plus 20 minus 8 whole square which is equal to square root of 4 square plus 12 square which is equal to square root of 16 plus 1, 44 which is equal to root 160 which is further equal to 4 root 10. Now PQ is equal to 2 root 10, QR is equal to 2 root 10 and PR is equal to 4 root 10. So as 2 root 10 plus 2 root 10 is equal to 4 root 10. Therefore, PQ plus QR is equal to PR. Hence, the points P, Q and R are collinear points. Now, let us discuss the collinearity of these points on the graph. For this, we will plot the points P, Q and R on the graph. So, we have plotted the points P, Q and R on the graph. Where the point P is representing the complex number 2 plus 8 iota. The point Q is representing the complex number 4 plus 14 iota and the point R is representing the complex number 6 plus 20 iota. Now by joining all these points you can see that we are getting a straight line. That means the points P, Q and R are lying on the same straight line thus the points P, Q and R are called 
collinear points. So in this session we have learned about values of a complex number and collinear points. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.